Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing on hump day? So grateful to be here. I'm so glad that you're able to um, join me on my live. So as you are chiming in, welcome to Suddenly with Tammy Mills. Just wanted to come and talk to you guys. Wanted to continue to share my story. I want to share my story with those that may not know me. Again, my name is Tammy Mills. I am the author of Suddenly and I do believe that this is a perfect time to share my book, share my story, because as we are stepping into the holidays, many of you may not know, but this is a very critical time for so many people, those that have lost their loved ones, those that may be on the brink of committing suicide because they are depressed, because they're missing their loved ones. Many of them are depressed because they don't have, they are full of anxiousness because they're trying to um, have money to be able to buy food, to take care of their families, to pay their mortgage. And I do believe as I share my story, I've been through so many suddenly tragedies. And I do believe that this is so imperative for me to continue to share because you never know what people are going through behind the smile. You never know what people are going through uh, behind posting on social media. And I do have a story to tell. So if you know anyone that may be experiencing any suddenly tragedies, they may be depressed and cannot come out of it. I want you to know that I definitely understand what you've been through or what you're going through because I lived it. I've been there. I've had so many suddenly ex uh, experiences, guys. I can't even count them, but I want to share them with you in my book, Suddenly. It's now available on Amazon. You know, it's a great gift for your loved ones. If you know anyone that that may be going through, get the gift for them, guys, or get it for yourself because it's a great book. It takes you through the process, the process that God took me through to be able to be here today when I did not want to write the book, when I didn't even want to live due to some of the suddenly tragedies that I've been through. But I promise you, as God took me through the process, he will take you through it step by step. I'm so proud of myself because it was God God's grace. I could have not written this book suddenly without the grace of God. Hey, my sister. I see my sister Dolores has just joined. You know, she don't even know everything that I've been through because I didn't want to share it. But God said, listen, you have to uh, uh, get out of that comfort zone. You have to um, be begin to be transparent about your life. You know, I've always been reserved, always been private, right? That's just who I am. But as God began to speak to me, he said, you have to share. You have to allow your voice to be heard. You have to let people know that it's not okay. As you went through those childhood struggles, you have to open up your mouth and you have to be able to uh, allow people to know what you've been through, to let people know that even going through it today, that is not okay, that you have to stand up for yourself, that you have to talk to someone about it because God made you and he don't want you to suffer anything that you don't have to go through. Even as a child, you may be grown now, but you may still have uh, memories of some of the things that you experienced and you know that it's not right. You may even went to some of your loved ones and they may have brushed it off or pushed it up under the rug, but it's not okay. It is not okay. So I'm standing in agreement with the Holy Spirit. I'm standing in agreement with God to, to as I go out to share my story that people may even say, why now? Why now do you come after 49 years to be able to share some of the things that you've been through? It's because so many people are still suffering in silence. I even heard a story um, just last week of this little girl was five years old and she went through of someone trying to take something so precious from her, right? I'm not going to go into the whole story, but this is the reason why God said you have to open up your mouth. You have to talk to some, you have to talk to the world, right? As you go into these places, because I couldn't save that little girl, but there are so many people out there that needs to hear my story that say, Hey, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be cautious of who I leave my kids with. I'm going to be cautious of, of just, uh, thinking that it's okay that a relative 
can watch my child, right? I'm going a little bit deep into my story, but I'm not going to tell it all. But I want you to get the book, guys. But it, 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 it's, it, it, it strikes awareness to make you aware of the things that you are doing with your children, which you're not doing. So you want to be mindful, guys. So as you are... Um, Going into the holiday season, people are going through critical times. This is a beautiful season, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But for many people, it is not. Many people, it is not. I just can rem I can remember vividly uh, this time last year when I was going through. I was missing my, my mom and my papa. And I'm telling you, it felt like I was drifting. It felt like I was just going through the motion. But it was during that time that I realized I still had anxiety. I still was depressed because I was missing my loved ones. I was missing them so bad. And I didn't know how to cope with it, right? But God gave me suddenly grace, allowed this book to pretty much heal me. It allowed me to heal myself as I was going through the process. Because when you're missing your loved ones, right, you want them to be here. You see people out shopping and that's what was going on. I was out. I saw people shopping. I saw people holding their parents' hands. I saw people just being with their family. But my mother and my papa was not here. So I could not uh, embrace them. I could not hold them. And so I began to just begin to go down spirally. And I had my daughter to meal meals with me. She's a seer. She's very anointed. And she began to cover me. She began to cover me and she began to pray for me during those times that I couldn't pray for myself. So I know suddenly will be able to help you guys. Um, I didn't share that in my book because I had to literally think about what God did for me during that time. But this is here for you. Tamia was here for me last year when I was going through, but suddenly is here for you today. So if you want to know more about suddenly and what I'm doing that God is giving me strength to do, definitely inbox me and I will definitely give you the link. You can go ahead and order it on Amazon. You can get it in two days. You can ship it out to your loved ones, guys. It will be a blessing for you as God gave me the grace to write it. You know, nobody but God. So I want to give it back to him. And thank you guys for joining me on Suddenly with Tammy Mills. If you want to know more about what God is doing with me as I share my story, inbox me, guys. Thank you so much and have a beautiful winning Wednesday. Bye-bye.